Mm. Here we go again. <laughs> Hello, peoples. Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, gamer? Gamers, what's up, Tech for Gamers? What's up, Tweak Town? We at it again. <laughs> here, here we go. Here we go with another article from our Tweak Town. Remember yesterday I was saying uh, the the FTC need a life raft, life jacket. Well, look like they got it. <laughs> You're like, huh? Listen to this. Got this article article here from our Tweak Town. Listen to this. FTC secures restraining order temporarily prohibiting Microsoft Activision merger from closing. Let me read it again. FTC secures restraining order temporarily prohibiting Microsoft Activision merger from closing. <laughs> yeah. An another, another saga, another chapter. Here we go again. All right, let's do this. It says here... Uh, California courts have granted the Federal Trade Commission request for a restraining order to temporarily prohibit the MS Microsoft Activision merger from closing. <laughs> Says here, uh, Federal Judge Jack Jacqueline uh, Scott uh, Corley has granted the FTC request for a temporarily restraining uh, order in the Microsoft Activision merger case. But the most important order has yet to be issued. Mm. All right. Let's see what we got here. It says here, uh, in a bid to stall, then it says in parentheses, in parentheses, and ultimately prevent, close parentheses, the Microsoft Activision merger from closing, the Federal Trade Commission sought two court orders from federal courts, a temporarily restraining order, TRO, which could prohibit Microsoft and Activision from merging for a specific period of time, and the more important preliminary injunction, PI, an order that would restrict the merger from closing until after the FTC internal administrative lawsuit is complete. <laughs> the tech firm have in indicated they would close over or merge together despite the ongoing FTC Administra administration or lawsuit at any time after June 15th. This pressured the FTC to file for emergency intervention from federal courts. Mm. All right, let's keep going here. It says here, uh, Northern California District Judge Jacqueline uh, uh, Corley has approved the FTC's request for TRO. This order temporarily restrained Microsoft and Activision from merging the two billion dollar game companies cannot join together until five days after the courts decide whether or not to issue the preliminary injunction order. Hmm. The PI order remains the FTC main goal with seeking federal intervention. Hmm. The FTC believes the combination of Microsoft and Activision would lead to anti-competitive harm in the gaming sector. Right. <laughs> and has opted to challenge the merger in its internal administrative courts. Now that the FTC has sought and, and found intervention from the federal courts, the merger has become a federal case, at least in the context of these requested orders. <laughs> like they say in the Matrix, in the Matrix, what do you say, uh, what Agent Smith said, uh, what he said, Lieutenant, but he said, Lieutenant, you're recommended to you recommended to follow sp uh, specific orders. <laughs> anyway, let me keep going. It says here, uh, the order uh, explained the situation. The FTC seeks a temporarily restraining order, TRO, and preliminary injunction in, in joining defendant Microsoft and Activision from cons consummating a proposed transaction while the FTC administrative review of transaction is pending. The court, having read and considered the TRO, find that the temporary relief per, uh, pursuant to Federal Trades Commission Act uh, 13B, 15 uh, U.S.C. Uh, uh, 53B, is necessary to maintain the status quo while the complaint, in, complaint is pending. 
preserve this court ability to order effective relief in the event it determines a preliminary injunction is warranted and preserve the FTC ability to obtain an effective permanent remedy in the event that it prevail in its pending administrative proceedings. The FTC has to prove that a preliminary injunction is necessary. The specific preliminary injunction would allow the FTC to effectively stall Microsoft and Activision from merging until its administrative lawsuit is completed. Hmm. An evidentiary hearing for the FTC admin administration on lawsuit is scheduled for August 2023. This hearing is past the merger termination date of July 18, 2023. If a preliminary injunction is issued, Microsoft and Activision will have to rene renegotiate a deal or abandon the merger, in which case Microsoft would pay Activision a three billion termination, a three billion dollar termination fee. And then it says here, if the FTC is denied the preliminary injunction, then Microsoft and Activision will likely close over and merge even during the ongoing FTC admin lawsuit. The federal courts has scheduled a first step evidentiary uh, hearing for the preliminary injunction on June 22nd and June 23rd. During this, this time, both the FTC and Microsoft slash Activision will present their argument on why the injunction should be approved. And then it says in, uh, in parentheses, a pro FTC decision, hmm. close parentheses, or should be denied. And it says in parentheses again, a pro merger decision, close parentheses. Hmm. A Microsoft spokesperson provide the following quote on the decision. Accelerate, accelerating legal uh, process in the U.S. will ultimately bring more choice and uh, competition to the gaming market. A temporary restraining order makes sense until we can receive a decision from the court, which is moving swiftly. Mm. Judge Corley has previously denied a preliminary injunction for a previous case that saw the merger being challenged by private parties in federal court. Mm. The detri it says, it's a Demartini uh, E T A L V dot Microsoft Corp Corp Corporation case. Ten consumers and gamers have banded together in an attempt to sue to block Microsoft Activision merger on the basis of harm from post merger combination. This private case was held in same north in the same Northern California District Court as the FTC requested. Then it says, Judge Corley ruled that legal counsel for the 10th, for the 10 gamers had not adequately proven harm and therefore their preliminary injunction was not granted in that specific case. Good article, Tweaktown, again. <laughs> well, the FTC needed a lifeline and the court granted it. So now, they're gonna have to prove to the courts hmm, that Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard is anti-competitive and it's gonna cause harm. Hmm. Yeah, the clock is ticking. So, uh, hmm, just because you got an, um, just because you got an injunction or a, a uh, or a restraining order. That don't mean that don't mean that don't that don't mean that you're you're clear you you um it does it does give you it does give it just gives you time to come up with information. Uh, I mean, come up with an with a with a solid concrete argument, not the same uh, recycle uh, information, but a solid concrete argument to a judge about why uh, Microsoft and Activision should not merge. Like, like, like I always say to you, know your argument. <laughs> so, uh, look, uh, when it comes to these courts, man, um, it's all about having a solid, concrete argument. And if you ain't got one, then what did you file? What did you file? Uh, um, 
<laughs> what did you file a, uh, uh, a lawsuit for in the first place if you ain't got one? Yeah. I mean, you already screwed up already. <laughs> That's one. When you filed your case late. Okay. Then you tried to remove Nintendo from the equation. So that's two. Then you try to base this on a high performance console market. But we've been having a high performance console market since what? Let's see here. Turbo Graphics, Atari 2600, <laughs> Panasonic 3DO, Atari Jaguar, Neo Geo uh, cartridge system, Neo Geo uh, CD system. Yeah, those are high performance consoles for that time. Okay? Yeah. They just used the wrong format. That was a problem with the Panasonic 3DO and the Atari Jaguar. Anyway, <laughs> so the FTC is going to have to come up with a um, solid concrete argument. If they ain't got it, Microsoft and Activision is going to move right along. Okay? And um, everybody that signed up for the 10-year, uh, who, who got those 10-year contracts, it's going to help them out a whole lot. So, um... To say that it's anti-competitive, you need to you need you need to you need to you need to illustrate, demonstrate what anti-competitive is. If you if you can't do that, you know we want illustrations of anti-competitiveness. We want demonstration. <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm about to sound like uh, Morpheus from the Matrix. Adaptations and propositions. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing around here. But seriously though, you got to illustrate and demonstrate uh, in the courts, you know, uh, what is anti-competitive. You, you can't just, you can't just say it. You got to, you got to illustrate that. So, um, and, um, <laughs> and come up with a solid, uh, concrete argument. If not, the judge is going to look at you and shake his head. The judge is going to look at you like he or she going to be like this. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah. When it comes to those courtrooms, uh, know your argument, you know, <laughs> you got to have a good, solid, concrete argument, you know, so yeah, um, the FDC, the CMA, yeah, they work hand in hand, man, so yeah, and the, and the European Commission haven't even talked of, haven't even said anything yet, ever since they agreed to the deal, you know, <laughs> what if, what if the, uh, <laughs> what if the, um, the courts, uh, what if the courts call uh, the European Commission and say, okay, why did you agree to the deal? Give us an example. Give us an illustration. Give us, give, uh, give us a demonstration of why you uh, agreed to this deal. Just say it. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, it's all about illustration and demonstration. You can't just be making up all kind of, all kind of, uh, uh, any kind of any kind of uh, uh, like argument, and then thinking thinking that you're just gonna walk in the courtroom, and then be like, "That's it." No, you gotta have solid, concrete argument. So yeah, um, that judge is just she got years of experience, so she just sitting there like this. Okay, what are they coming with their argument? Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, uh, they, the, the FTC got to come up with a solid, concrete argument. It can't be the same old recycled uh, 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 argument that they be use that 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 they've been using years ago. Okay, because Microsoft buying Activision does not stop competition at all. It really doesn't. It doesn't stop the game industry from growing. It doesn't stop the game industry from moving. It, this is just another merger. That's all it is. Game studio, game studios are formed on a, on a, on a constant basis. You know, a group of people coming together, forming game game studios, and um, creating video games because of the love, the passion, the joy, excitement, blah blah blah. But Microsoft buying Activision does not stop competition. Okay, so yeah, um, uh, anti-competitive. Now the judge, now the judge could say, okay. If you guys merge, uh, if if you guys merge, then you get you uh, people got to still have their you, you can't be laying off people on a constant some something of that sort. But Microsoft uh, Activision, Microsoft purchasing Activision does not does not stop competition, man. It really doesn't.
I mean, it doesn't. Activision doesn't stop our gearbox from making our brother a, a new brothers in arm. They don't. Activision Blizzard doesn't stop EA from making a new Battlefield. They don't. I'm saying Activision Blizzard doesn't stop Sony from working on SOCOM or uh, uh, Resistance or Killzone. No, it, Activ the Activision merger doesn't stop competition. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Zenimax Bethesda, what? Doesn't stop Nintendo from making Zelda. I'm just saying. So, yeah. Just another merger, another, another merger. Okay? Um, cloud gaming. I mean, cloud gaming is about what? Infrastructure. You know? Got, got to have that infra infrastructure in place to deal with cloud gaming. But just because we have cloud, cloud gaming... It doesn't mean that uh, console gaming is dead. No. Uh, cloud gaming is just another icing on the cake of console gaming. Cloud gaming just gives you options. Okay? I mean, the argument about um, physical copies versus digital copies will always continue. Some people are physical and some people are just digital. Or some people are just a combination of both. So, yeah. Just, just, it's just another merger, man. That's, you know, it's no big deal. Um, studios are being formed, and games will always, games will always be made because the industry demands it. The industry is moving, so the developers are got, they got to keep up. Yeah, technology is moving at the um, uh, speed of light, so uh, the game developers they got to keep up. You know, so yeah. Um. Um, you know, Microsoft just beat everybody to the punch with this. That's all this. That's all this is. You know, it, um, Activision Blizzard was up for grabs on a first come, first serve basis. So Microsoft saw, seized the opportunity. You know, so yeah. Um, this is where we are. But the FTC right now got to come up with a solid, concrete argument. It can't be the same old watered down argument. No. Nah. Cause the judge is gonna see through it like, nah, that's that's not so, that's that's not uh that's not that, that's not that's not concrete enough. <laughs> so some of that sort. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so when it comes to this, these courts, it's all about having a solid concrete argument, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, FTC got 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 some time to come up with an argument, and um. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Microsoft giving out ten-year contracts to to Enware, EE, Ubitus, Boosteroid, Nvidia, Nintendo. Um, it's it's gonna pay off big. It's gonna pay off big, <laughs> financial-wise. That is. So yeah. Um, yeah. Um, because. Microsoft, I guess they figured out like why keep our games to ourselves. And it's like you know what, yeah, 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 we're Microsoft. Of course, we're, we're Microsoft. Everybody knows us. So why keep our games to ourselves? Let's let's just sh let's just spread the wealth everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's gonna work. So yeah, you 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 probably sitting there thinking like, well, why would they give our ten year contracts? You'll see. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, man, um, the FTC got to prove their argument. You know, the pressure is mounting. You know, it can't be the same old, you know, watered down argument that they come with every time. Nah, I come with something solid, concrete, firm and strong. If you ain't got it, nah, and you and you, and you can't speculate either. <laughs> so that's a that's another thing. So, yeah. <clears throat> but other than that, man, um, we'll see what the courts gonna have to do what the courts are gonna do anyway leave this video for y'all to enjoy nice talking to you people again chris still a star wars and star trek playing poor dark side okay. peace